to the Oklahoma progressives plotting mass exodus. There is a sick pit in your stomach, a plantation in your front yard, a static flicker of black and white, an absurd talking picture where sepia skin has become villain. You're not sure who to trust anymore. Everyone walks backwards in your neighborhood. You are surrounded by billboards with hate-sized fonts. You're looking for a secret handshake, a fish with feet, drawn in the sand, blue paint on the doorframe. You're beginning to resent the dirt for being so damn red at night. You are a furious search engine, screaming down the track towards some kind of Shangri-La, but Portland has no jobs. You know, you're asked Canada for San Francisco. Canada doesn't want you. Even Libya seems safer than your next PTA meeting anywhere. It's better than here. But here is your home. Here is where you chose to raise your kids because the people are so friendly. Do not let them drive you away. Here is where the sunset stretches its arms wide as forgiveness across stolen plains. Here is where Clara Looper sat down at the cat's lunch counter and asked to be served. Where black and white soldiers fought alongside each other for the first time. Where the first transgender minister preached from a pulpit. Where hippies squatted in the Paseo until they made it an art district. Where Charlie Christian learned guitar. Where Wayne Coyne keeps the bubble. Where Woodrow Wilson Guthrie played harmonica for sandwiches. Here is the land of the heart. So it's where the healing has to take place. Tell them you are not moving. Oklahoma is worth the wait. See, sometimes evolution feels like the stinging cramp in the back of your knees when you've grown too fast for your outdated bones. Sometimes it feels like a house in the city with three goats, 10 chickens, and 12 wild kids tear up the sidewalk, plant a garden, bake a squash casserole, and invite all your terrified neighbors over. Say, assalamu alaikum to everyone you meet. Fill out all government forms and Espanol. Check all the boxes when they ask your race and your sex. Go to city council meetings, ride your bike to work, go to the house and the senate, wear pink. Tell them they cannot write their laws on your body. Send your resume to Representative Sally Kern. Tell her that you are a woman and you are black and you know damn well the government's not going to take care of you. Tell her that you work, that you're not going to stop working until she is out of office. Write love letters to queer kids and their bullies. Tell them you are staying here for them. Kiss a Republican on the cheek. Show them how to love someone you don't understand. Just do something. With those clenched fists, that broken heart, that liberal mouth, progress is a series of small, bold moves. Don't leave. Here is where we need you.